Hello everyone! Today I am going to talk about cherry bread, an old dessert from Ottoman times, famous in Afyon. And today I'm gonna tell you the hints and tips and how to make cherry bread wherever you are in the world. We also have ekmek kadayıfı. Again, we use stale bread and wet and make it sweet with sherbet. And then serve it with kaymak. And cherry bread, I think, is an upgraded version of ekmek kadayıfı. How we do it? First, you need a stale bread. Yes, we have some bread kadayıf also sold in yufka places. You can buy that and wet it with the sherbet and you can use it like that. But also, using stale bread is the perfect way to make this dessert. You can use whichever bread you like. Toast breads, like the square ones, they're also perfect for this. But you need them stale or dry. First, you slice the bread and then cut the edges. Only the crumb will remain that can soak the sherbet better. If it's not dry, put it in the oven for five minutes so it can get even drier. Meanwhile, we can make the sherbet. For the sherbet, you need sour cherries, not like sweet ones. You can use frozen ones, we did the same. 450 grams of sour cherries, 450 grams, almost two and a half cup sugar, one and a half liters water. You mix them in a pot, you heat it and bring to boil. But as you boil them, they're gonna lose their shape. So we need for topping some perfect cherries, so we spare some for later. And then we are simming for 10-15 minutes. So all the taste and color of the cherries can infuse in the water. Longer you cook, the color will get more brownish and you wouldn't like it. To make it even further, we are gonna mash the cherries and all of the taste will be in the sherbet, not in the cherries. After that, we are taking our bread from the oven. They are slices in a tray. Turn the heat on and slowly add the sherbet to the bread. It's gonna soak all the water. Again, on low heat, cook for four or five minutes. Heating will fasten the soaking process. So this is also same as wetting a dry bread with a delicious juice, stock, sherbet, whatever it is. It's a technique, we call it treat. It's not just a recipe, it can be something savory, it can be something sweet like this, but this is something we use for ages in Anatolia. We also have another recipe in here, Vardabit, if you remember. We wet the bread with tahini and beans. This is the same mindset. You have stale bread, dry bread, you are wetting and making it delicious with some juice and having another meal. We have a challenge for all of these techniques in Turkish. Maybe in future we have the English version as well. Hi everyone, we are on Amazon. You can find our most highlighted products on Amazon and buy with just one click. After cooking the bread and sherbet, we need to let it cool down because when it's hot, like the bread is gonna be runny. After resting it overnight in the refrigerator, it's ready to serve. What we need here is kaymak, which is clotus cream, but you can use ice cream as well. This is common in Turkey also. And some cherry pieces that we spared before, and that's it ready. When you get a bite, first you get the like the soft bread filled with sour and sweet cherry. And then kaymak comes, upgrades the, all the taste, and then you are ready for the next bite. This is our like sour cherry bread. For example, in Ramadan time, we have lots of Ramadan pidesi. Yes, we buy more and sometimes we don't use all of them. You can use other stale breads to make this. Or you don't have to make it just with sour cherry. You can make it with strawberries, orange, maybe something with chocolate. You can play with all that sides. And if you do, please send us the photo, share with us. And if you have something similar like this one in your country, you can write it down there as well. And please like the video and subscribe if you haven't. Take care. Bye-bye.